thanks Ben for inviting me here. I remember back a decade ago being invited to one of these events and that was my first experience of interfaith uh, dialogue and I really uh, I owe a lot to that. I think yes, all the faiths do say the same thing and uh, I was thinking of suggesting something radically different of organizing a protest. But coming from the Islamic faith and what's recently happened, <laughs> I thought I'm not suggesting that. I like Paul's point about the economics because we do hear from a scientific angle and from a faith angle, but at the end of the day it's the, it's the, it's the money that counts. I mean, after the protest I saw one of the signs saying, behead those that insult profit. Profit spelled P-R-O-F-I-T. <laughs> so, um, so it's very appropriate and uh, I, was, I was amazed to me. I'm not an expert in this area, so I'm just going to give you my personal responses. Uh, from the Islamic faith, uh, and I'm also not an Islamic law expert, and Islamic law does have a thing or two to say about these areas. Uh, but, um, but the fact that we don't have proper regulation of this centrally regulated of all those mining projects you mentioned, that's something um, quite uh, shocking. As we all know, Islam is based on five pillars, and the third pillar of Islam is zakat, which is to give uh, a certain amount of money of, a, of wealth that's maintained for a year and there's different amounts so uh, for one's personal wealth income in the bank if you own a uh, hundred dollars for a year that's in the bank you, you give two and a half dollars of it uh, to charity as a card arms giving the idea behind is to spiritually clean yourself so you don't uh, get attached to the world but also as the Quran mentioned in chapter 59 verse 7 so that uh, the money does not just circulate amongst the wealthy. Now what's interesting with zakat is it has different amounts of different things on agricultural things, things that you use yourself, water and the crops that you you play a role uh, in that coming out of the earth, you pay somewhat 10%. On things you just fully extract off the ground, you pay 20%. So, uh, and this is always something Muslims themselves uh, implemented. We have the oil countries, uh, or whoever it is that's pulling out the oil from those countries, probably they're not doing it, but um, it's something to say because it comes from the recognition that it's all from God. And if you're not doing much, you're just taking something out and selling it or making something from it, the rest of Australia should benefit from it. Or at least, at specific, especially if that's harming the environment, then that money should be used to go fund other environmental activities. So, uh, there is a, some sort of a lack of will. And we need to sort of act on what's right and just, not what's unbeneficial. So, um, what David alluded to, some of the central philosophies underpinning our system of justified greed, that's really, I think, at the heart of the problem, where uh, we're legally bound to just make profit, as you mentioned. So we need to act on what's just and what's right. Because I think this comes from a recognition that this is God's planet. And we are put here as vice chairs to take care of it. And we have laws and regulations that we must follow. Uh, I mean, when Francis, I liked it how you personified the earth. And it always, in a way, touches me when I hear about Aboriginal spirituality. Because when I personally read the Quran, the Quran speaks of the universe as it's a living entity. It says that, uh, whatever is in the heavens and the earth glorifies God. And in another place, in a language that you do not understand. So we don't understand it, but the earth praises and worships, and it's also like a like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, described it as a large mosque. So destroying the earth is like damaging the mosque. And the Kaaba, which is so important to Muslims, is made of stone. It can be rebuilt. But some of the damage we're doing to the environment is worse than bulldozing the Kaaba, which right now millions of Muslim pilgrims have started to congregate around. Um, but hearing about I, I just did a quick search on my iPhone application, Quran, and 